and today you are looking at a 48 inch Jessup anodized line. This line was set up for both type 2 and type 3 anodized. It does have two half ton CM Lodestar power driven hoists. We'll walk down the line and show you the layout in just a second. I will show you the control panel here. Serial number is 92102 for the Jessup line. Individual tank dimensions are 24 inch direction of travel by 36 inches front to back by 48 inches deep. All tanks, unless noted otherwise, are polypro construction. I will walk down the line on both sides. This system is currently set up in a U-shaped configuration. We will attach a tank layout. I won't go down and read every single one of them, but we will have the layout attached so you can follow along. This is the, where they were loading the parts right here, and this was actually station one on the left-hand side here. There are two of those hoists that run down both sides of the line. As you can see, you do have the hoods on the back. If those can be saved, they will. All of the tanks are in great condition and they are going to be completely power washed and cleaned. Here's a, one of the individual tanks. All of the tanks do have temperature controllers on the outsides. Here's a sulfuric acid. Rinse. Lighting line is in great condition. There are also quite a few chromates or dyes on the, on here. I believe there are 11 that we can. We will look at the tank layout to confirm. On the back side of the line here at the end of the U, there is a uh, transfer cart with a couple little quarter ton hoists. Grab the rack, move it onto the cart. The cart goes along the floor in the shuttle there, moves along back to the other side over here. First tank here would be a yellow dye followed by a rinse, then a red dye, and a blue dye, and a green dye. There's a brown dye. There's a black dye. There's an orange dye. There's a gold dye. Over here, there are three rectifiers that we will show you on the other side. There's a 2,000 amp 75 volt that does have this PLC control that was built in 2016. There's also this Dyna Power Switch Mode rectifier we will show you on the other side. This is a 1,000 amp 24 volt. And there is also a 300 amp 24 volt rectifier. So the 1000 amp 24 volt and the 300 amp 24 volt were being used for type 2. The 75 volt 2000 amp was being used for the type 3 anodize. There are quite a few steam coils that do go with the line.
As you can see, the superstructure is a very nice setup. It does have the uprights that are all bolt together that you can see there uh, with no welded gussets for easy removal, labeling, and reinstall. There are also dummy plates in there. There's a galvanic corrosion protection system called a pit stop two that I will show you on the other side uh, that does act as a reverse plate to plate out any of the extra corrosion. This is a type two anodized tank right here. I will go around to the back side of the line so that you can see the rectifiers, the fume scrubbers, etc. Along the back side of the line, you can see the line is up on cement piers. Here is the control panel. This is the system that I was describing to you, the galvanic corrosion protection, the pit stop two systems. And you can see on each one that on every tank that was both a die or a seal tank had one of these setups on it. Very nice little system. On the back side of the control panel you can see this was the original rectifier. This is a 300 amp 24 volt. There is also a filter, ripple filter for that unit uh, that's bust into one of the type 2 anodizers. There is a booster blower uh, that is drawing off the front half of the line that does push back to the fume scrubber that we will show you. Here is one of the type 2 chillers. This is a 7 ton Accu chiller, 2016. There are also three heat exchangers behind here. Two of them have been replaced within the last couple of years and are very nice. One of those and one on the other side there that I will show you. The Dynapower rectifier, this is a type 3 anodized rectifier. This is a 2000 amp, 75 volt. This is a water cooled unit. Everything on this line is 480 volts. And there is the other type 2 anodized switch mode rectifier, which is a 1000 amp, 24 volt. That is water cooled as well. The first 300 amp unit is an air cooled unit. Continuing on down the line, this is a Type 3 chiller. This was the 20 ton unit that was solely doing the Type 3 anodizing. Uh, this unit, it does, it is said to have a bad compressor. Uh, it is uh, manufactured in 2016. It's a Temp Tech unit. Here's another shot of the one of the newer heat exchangers. Another shot of the back side of the line. Any of these ducts or hoods if they can be saved. We will try to save them the best we can. Here is a very nice KCH 12,250 CFM scrubber. That was servicing the entire line. Excellent condition. See the other side of that. Duct work is very nice. We'll walk along to the back side of the line over here. Quite a bit of the steam piping. Here are three service filters. There's also a Rotron agitation and push air blower that they were utilizing.
This line is in excellent condition. The overall dimensions are 19 feet wide from outside of the uprights to outside of the uprights. The height is 11 foot 6 inches tall to the top of the cross member I-beam. And the overall length is 60 feet long. From the outside of that tank, as you can see, there is a little bit of an extension up on the top with the festoon cable. Overall dimensions from the outside of the tank to the outside of the tanks on the other side is 60 feet long. If you have any questions regarding this Type 2, Type 3 Jessup anodized line, please contact Landco Corporation at 616-887-8300 or you can view us on the web at www.landco-corp.com. Thank you. Have a great day.